Hello comrades, you are watching <laughs> the Dennis Show with uh, Workers and Resources of the Republic. I want to start a really really hard game. Um, the rules are in the title but I will mention them if we go. Let's start with the map. Um, I will pick a random generated map. The focus of this playthrough is actually that I wanted to show how to start a cosmonaut mode in the hardest settings. Um, not a very nice map because I have here nice maps which look appealing. Uh, our map will not look appealing. It's more about uh, techniques how to start in the hardest settings. So let's start. We go on cosmonaut mode. We go on. Everything is great except for day and night cycle. Will be always day, uh, and we start in the 1960s because <laughs> hardest mode. Okay, this uh, one we will generate a map. We will generate a very flat map. Um, the map will isn't even <laughs> prettier, easier, but uh, we'll use them. So, amount of lakes, a little bit more. Let's hope. Uh, be fine. Mm, rivers, give me only one. Um, yeah. Okay. And we don't want any buildings. So let's fire up the game and uh, look if we see something usable. Okay, guys, <laughs> by the magic of editing, um, I have reloaded three times and the um, <laughs> maps are all ugly as heck, but this one is the one I need. So, uh, let's talk about the game I want to play here on this map. Um, we are in a corner on the western and eastern side. This one is a small, small border post. Where are you? Uh, of the map. Um, here's a small border post and uh, we will start here. Um, here's also a bigger border post a little bit further away. So um, this one is also great if we want to uh, be determined that the small border post is not usable. Actually I don't know if the loading time for example on the small border post is worse than the loading time on the uh, medium or bigger one. Mm. If not, it is maybe even a better one than the medium border post because the vehicles drive shorter distances through the border. Be really interesting. Hard to measure, but if everything collapses, we will know. Um, so, let's go through the rules of my game. I will. We are in cosmonaut mode. We are on hardest settings. We are on pause. Um, I want to demonstrate how to start a game in cosmonaut mode, um, and I have some rules to make it for me even harder. So um, the first rule is no mods. This game will be completely vanilla because I think every mod changes in some way the balance of the game, and uh, comparable is only vanilla. Vanilla should work. Uh, it's a little bit uh, annoying from times because I also like my mods. I have many mods, but I don't. I will not use them. The second rule, actually, is that um, we we try to play without loans. So <laughs> I have one million in the bank uh, by the rubles and five hundred thousand by the dollars. That's why we are tucked here in the corner. Um, because if we don't take loans, I must also use my doleros uh, sensibly. Um, one million is really not not a lot of money. And the next thing is uh, finish the game in ten years. And uh, by finishing, I mean building up a city, having it um, safe, sustainable, 
and the definition of done is the city must have a crime and justice system, a university and a radio station because I think radio station is mandatory if you want to go on on the map uh, expand. People with low loyalty are really problematic. You need the you need the loyalty to have bigger productivity and low lower sensitivity. But um, on the hardest settings, the sensitivity of the people is really great. So happiness goes down very fast. You lose people faster than you uh, sometimes recognize. So it's quite challenging. Um, I like the challenges, um, and we should go on and look where we land. Okay, enough with the intro. Let's go to the planning stage. So uh, we are here in the border region and we stay at the border region. Um, ah, and one other rule is uh, I will not take any natural resources or oil. I don't need natural resources for the start. You will see how it goes. Mm. It will be uh, start which is the other alternative. I think the other strong alternative it's uh, fabric, clothes. So first clothes and later, later integrate backwards into the production chain. Um, yeah, another viable uh, start would be uh, an alcohol start or a food start, but uh, the food and alcohol starts are have no really deep uh, production chains where we can integrate backwards. We simply need um, crops and that's okay, but uh, clothes are lower value, higher price per uh, a truck you can achieve and you can integrate nicely backwards so going from clothes to fabrics to uh, chemicals um, and so on and so forth so <laughs> i'm excited i'm i hope it will work I haven't planned without loans which is uh, another big constraint um, we will build up a city which is uh, well optimized i hope and uh, yeah let's get to work so let's see what is our situation. Um, we have big bodies of water, which are nice because water is needed uh, for the cosmonaut start, but also we need land, which we find here. Um, the water is uh, well needed uh, because of sewage. <laughs> um, I think shipping is no point here. Yeah. We can ship on the lake, but then it's done. Yeah. Maybe this is the river. No, don't know. So we can have some lakeside shipping, but uh, the rest. <laughs> it's going nowhere. Okay. So what is the. No, the height situation here. Hmm. The city we built will um, hug the border because I want to have a city quite fast up and running. Quite fast means in, by the second uh, summer season, the first season we take to build up the city and all the amenities and uh, things we need. Uh, and in the second season we will invite our uh, people and um, start up the next important steps. Yeah. Okay. Then we will go to the border. Um, one quite important aspect is the the plumbing. <laughs> so, so sewage. I'm looking for the highest point or a point where we will flat out and uh, build our city in a plateau, so we don't get into trouble uh, building the sewage pipes because. Um, Pipes need to go downward, and I don't want to fiddle more than it's really needed. Um, behind the city, there will be um, yeah. Here we will have an industrial area where we make our money, and um, so let's get started with the planning. 
Oh mein Gott. Let's hope it's a good idea. Give me a road connection. A little bit scared of the border. But maybe, maybe it's really a good idea. What does the terrain say? I think I will make a plateau here uh, where the city starts and um, make a plateau here where the industrial area will be. Here's our beloved uh, sewage system. Yep. Okay. Great. So, I will set up the construction industry and um, then we make a break because I need to flatten out the terrain. You don't need to witness this. So let me let me think a little bit about this. One road is really constraining. I usually operate with two roads or three. Um, to the border will be would be interesting, but let's start uh, setting up our construction uh, in quotes industry. Um, the blessing was uh, let's make it nice and straight. So, yeah, um, the blessing was was a cosmonaut mod are the free buildings. Which are such a blessing that the community decided, no, 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 no. If you build too much of these three buildings, you are not a good Soviet. So, uh, comrade developer gave us a, a limitation of the three buildings because we cannot decide for ourselves. Mother, Mother Russia <laughs> decided, comrade, you can only have a limited amount of these buildings because they are too great, you know. Um, they look nice, <laughs> they can store a lot of vehicles, they have their own fuel depot. Yeah, yeah, no, two great buildings, uh, comrade, you only get a limited amount. The same goes for the uh, two great refueling station, <laughs> also a limited amount, yeah. But um, in a way they are really attractive, I will not lie, because plumping down a few, uh, plumping down a refueling station Everywhere you want them to have, it's great. It's great. Um, they don't need any um, electricity to work. God damn it! Um, Um, okay, so the setup of the construction vehicles. Um, construction vehicles will take a lot of money out of your pocket, uh, exorbitant amount of money. But I want to be fast, so I will buy quite a lot of them. I want to have three excavators, one, two, three, and a dumper. For me, most of the time, the Skoda vehicles. I hope they are Skoda. It's, uh, no, not the dumper open hole. The Skoda vehicles often win the race because um, they are so fast that they are maxed out on gravel roads, and we will drive a long time on gravel roads. Trust me, and. Um, they are price efficient and they take can take a lot of uh, our cargo which we need. So next one is bulldozers. Um, I actually buy bulldozers because they are build the road faster. Uh, I want two bulldozers uh, for the road crew. I want uh, also uh, open hull with Skoda and I want a uh, closed 
one um, for cover toll actually uh, guess what Skoda um, the closed toll is for electronics and mechanical components mm. so we have a fuel station we need to fill the fuel station with um, so distribution office. Distribution office is forklift. Give it to me. Um, let's plump in a couple or maybe three. Maybe. Never know what they're good for. Um, first one is uh, with oil. So give me an oil tank, please. Here we are. Um, apart from my love to Skoda, I have a love for the T138. <laughs> um, same story. They are price efficient and they are as fast as they need to be. One thing I will do is um, I will set up a, a little gravel storage. I don't like the, the uh, storages which are for free, but I will explain later when I build them, why I want to build them. Okay. So, this is the initial construction setup. Um, these guys I need for flattening. I want to have three excavators because they are fast uh, for the groundworks of the buildings. Uh, time is money and I don't want to spend more money than needed. Uh, that's a third. Um, don't want to spend more money than uh, needed, uh, more, more, more time than needed uh, to build our first city. The plan is to have the city running up and running at the start of the next season, to the start of the next summer season. Let us get some fuel. Load me. Gravel and fuel. And unload me the fuel. Oh, I'm really excited what happens with the border post. <laughs> could be fine. Uh, could be absolutely could be better than the uh, normal one, or could be a catastrophe. Uh, yeah. So maybe a very short playthrough or never, never one, which I will publish. Let's let's just find out. So um, I have the basic construction. Yeah, uh, the basic constructions. Um, I will flatten the terrain, and we will see you afterwards. Uh, if I have uh, built here a plateau to uh, go on and you can join me if I'm starting to construct and lay out the city, get everything done and working and uh, start the construction. So long, have a nice one, bye!